In this video, we're going to introduce the VSPRO Aerodynamics Solver that's packaged along with OpenVSP. Now, if you want to talk about the in-depth theory behind what VSPRO really is, um, I'm going to post a link to David Kenny's presentations from the VSP workshops, where he goes into de detail um, about you know the BS of R methods and and the vortex lattice versus panel codes, thin surface versus thick surface, etc. Um, so you can go and, and learn more about that as you wish. For the purposes of these videos, we're not really going to talk about what VSPRO is doing under the hood. We're just going to tell you how to use it and hopefully how to use it effectively. So for the first part, we're just going to give a quick overview of what's going on here and do a couple demonstrations. And in subsequent videos, we'll break down everything that's in the solver here and some basics and as well as some advanced topics uh, down the road. So first off, let's do a demonstration of our vortex lattice or our thin surface mode. And we can do this on the full, uh, the full model here if we want. And let's just leave everything at its default. So we're going to launch the solver. And what will happen is it sets everything up. I've given it five iterations. And it will tell me how long that took to run as soon as it's done with all three. Now, I'm only running on four processors on my laptop here. Everything's running fairly quickly. Uh, it could go faster, but because I've got the fuselage and the vertical tail, still less than 20 seconds. So it gives you a results manager when the run is complete and it shows you, say, the span loading for all of your lifting components. These dots that are clustered down here are the uh, fuselage. And we can look at a sweep if we want. So that tells us our drag polar effectively. And we can also look at the convergence. So that's one. We'll get it in more into depth about the results manager and things like that later. Uh, but what you're also probably interested is the viewer. That will help you look at this, the solution itself. So when that's launched, you can see we've got our thin surface model. And you can see this overlap between the vertical tail and the cruciform for the pod. But it gives you a visualization of the model. To look at the pressures, we turn it on under this menu here. And you can see that we have a nice even distribution of the delta CP on the wing. We can even come in and look at wakes if we want to. And so a reasonably successful run. So we can tick through and kind of give that some increased alpha. No problem, no surprises. Everything looks like it ran just fine. So that's the thin surface mode. Let's go back and run a thick surface. And because I want this to take a little bit less time, we're gonna give this say four degrees angle of attack and bump up the number of processors because I want it to run faster. And so in this case, thick surface is going to run comp geom, give our uh, model a triangulated mesh, and it's going to run, you know, quick as a whip. So these five iterations on these take something like 12, 13 seconds, no problem. And so here we're looking at our convergence, again, our load distribution on the panel. So it's computing all that stuff for you. And again, if we launch our viewer, now we can see that we've got our thick surface model. And same as the other, we can turn on pressures, we can turn on our trailing wakes, and so all those visualizations are available to you there. So again, this is just an introduction on how to execute some runs. We're typically going to rely on our pod plane model or a pod plane with some propellers just to demonstrate some of these concepts. But in each of the subsequent videos, we're going to demonstrate different aspects of either the GUI, the solver setup, the results manager, the viewer, etc., so that you can hopefully get a firm understanding about how this operates and how to use it well. 